Hey everyone, what's up? And welcome back to this very, very rainy garden update. Um, it's been raining here for about three days, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys what was going on and everything like that. So let's take a look around. And as you can see, the tulips have gotten huge. They've really come into stride in the last few days. And unfortunately, since it's been raining nonstop, I haven't been able to pick them. So as a result, we have a lot of tulips that are kind of much further past their prime than I would have liked, unfortunately, but uh, they're hanging in there. You can see a lot of them are getting nice and tall. Stems are kind of drooping, but again, those are big, heavy, wet flowers, so uh, about what we would expect. Um, I still ended up picking a lot of these for cut flowers and giveaway and everything, despite how they look in this video. I think you'll see by the end they look pretty good, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys some of my favorite flowers that I have uh, blooming right now and tulips are definitely one of my favorites especially uh, the double tulips like this is the peony party mix with the copper image and the amazing grace double tulips which are very very pretty also one of my favorites is single tulip is called mango charm even though it doesn't look anything like the picture the picture in the catalog shows an orange kind of pretty one but we got this lovely pastel pink which i am not disappointed by at all it's absolutely stunning and speaking of absolutely gorgeous we also have these um amazing parrot tulips like that's just what they're called they're called amazing parrot tulips and they are amazing look at the color combination of this it's like a very pretty pink and orange uh blending together it's just very very nice um i i don't know i can't say enough good things about how the tulips went this year and how good they turned out we have a couple of late bloomers there in the back getting ready to open up, but for the most part, most everything is gone. And here coming soon in future videos, you'll see that I am going to be doing a turnover of the tulip patch very, very soon. So the tulips are actually coming out and the lisianthas are going to be going in. So that's where my priorities are. The Dutch iris have also started to bloom. You can see our little Dutch iris bed. It's still looking a little bit weedy looking just because that's how Dutch iris kind of look. Uh, these are the Miss Saigon Dutch iris. These are just a kind of a, what I would consider a regular Dutch iris. What you would, cons you know, what you would kind of think of when you think of a Dutch iris. They just have that blue and very, very prominent yellow on the tips. They open up nice and tall. Very good length for uses and base. I'm just enjoying them as a garden flower this year. I didn't cut any. Uh, we have a lot more different varieties to come. Also wanted to quickly show you guys the ranunculus. It seems that these ranunculus is, are absolutely growing leaps and bounds from one day to the next. Um, even on this rainy day when it was really cold outside and all the flowers are kind of closed up, you know, uh, you can see these budding up like crazy. Uh, the first ones to bloom are all of the ridunculus in the LaBelle series. I think I ordered most of these from Floret. Um, I really like the LaBelle because they do bloom so much earlier than the Amandine ones, at least here in my yard. Such a beautiful selection of colors and I'm really excited and eager to, you know, start picking these. I haven't picked any of these yet just because I've been so preoccupied with the tulips and the daffodils and everything else that is going on. Um, feel like I'm just losing sight of everything. I have so much going on. But uh, we also have the tiger mix from Floret, which is really cool. I'm really digging these unique kind of green centers through the middle of the plants. I've never grown a variety like that before, and it is so neat looking. I especially like the kind of picote, I guess, uh, look to it. I think the LaBelle series, uh, or I think the LaBelle champagne that I'm growing came from Eden Brothers. I had a gift card from a, from a past order where I had to make a return or something. I can't remember. But overall... Uh, they look like they're true to type. Everything looks like it's growing uh, well. And you'll see here in a second because these this is just like two days apart, this video. There's footage from two different days. And you can see on the day that was cloudy and rainy, um, yeah, there's a lot of blooms and it looks nice and whatnot. Uh, but as the sun came out and it got just a little bit warmer, these ranunculus absolutely seem to just burst open, just out of control. Beautiful, huge, fluffy fully double flowers that are just amazing. You can see that they're still kind of reaching towards the sun. That's just because I haven't taken the hoop house um, plastic off yet. That's something else I'm going to be doing this week very, very soon so that everything can start growing straight up and down again. 
Um, that's just my own fault because I've been kind of worried about the weather. Also, I have a little bit of powdery mildew because the nights have been so cool. So that's something I'm going to keep an eye on as the, um, you know, the ranunculus continue to bloom and look very, very nice. I just couldn't help it. The more that I saw the ranunculus, the more I had to take video of them. I was like, I have to show everyone. Um, also, the Icelandic poppies are starting to come into full bloom now. Um, this year has been really kind of a major kind of flop for the Icelandic poppy. It's not really a flop. We still have poppy flowers, and they're still very beautiful. So it's definitely not a flop. Um, but they are very tall and kind of scraggly looking, I guess. And a lot of them have been blown over and are just kind of laying on the ground. I am going to go through there probably sometime this week and deadhead them very aggressively. And um, you can see a lot of petals are falling off and everything just because I've been personally neglecting them. I think I'm going to get really aggressive with deadheading them this week. And maybe things will start to look a little bit better and uh, I'll feel more happy. I'll, you know, I'll feel happier about the success, whether or not this was a success. And... Uh, growing our Icelandic poppies. I know I'm just being over critical. These look great. These look fine. The colors are beautiful. I'm just being too hard on myself. That's part of what I do. Also blooming in the garden are the calendula. Uh, this is the apricot kinglet um, calendula. This is a scabiosa or anemone flowered calendula. They are very pretty. As you can see, as the flower ages and it opens, continues to open, it gets that very, very pretty scabiosa type bloom. And those blooms are very, very consistent, which is sometimes not the case with scabiosa type blooms with flowers. As you can see, our pansies are still looking pretty good. They're getting a lot taller just because the weather is getting warmer. I do need to go through and deadhead them. I think I'm going to just go through and deadhead all of those. Um, I got all the pansy seeds from Geoseed. I know I get that question a lot. So um, Geoseed, the nature series, that's what it is. Also, our scented stalks are actually getting a few blooms. I know we had trouble with our scented stalks in the past. Um, even had a little bit of issues with mold and mildew. Not mildew, mold. Uh, white mold in the hoop house this uh, winter. And made sure to remove it promptly. And it seems like that worked out pretty good, even though these plants don't look the best. The uh, Siberian wallflower has also started to bloom, which is exciting. Uh, still getting mostly these yellow colors. This is supposed to be a mix with some pastel colors as well, but very, very yellow and bright, but that's fine. Um, hopefully, you know, maybe that'll change as they begin to hit their full stride. Things like the salvia sage are also growing. A little bit of weeds in there. Uh, you know me, I just, weeds are weeds. Uh, they don't really bother me that much. I know they bother some people a lot. Also taking a sneak peek at some of the daffodils that are popping up in the garden. Um, lots and lots of pretty stuff happening with the daffodils, especially with the daffodil tour video. I've been working on that video for over two months now. I will be so relieved and happy when that video is finally up and hopefully people will watch it. Who knows? Um, but very, very pretty, just different kinds of champagne colored daffodils. I really focused on the champagne colors and the pink this year and I am so pleased. It makes me want to go out and buy a farm and just fill it up with daffodils because these are easily one of my favorite flowers. I just love daffodils so much. I know a lot of people are like, meh, you know, I'll take it or leave it, but I especially really like these. The uh, dahlias are also starting to pre-sprout. If you look close, there's a slug trying to eat one of my sprouts right there. I didn't even see it in real time. And our dahlias from seed are coming up. So far, I have about 10 seedlings. You guys are right. The germination rate on those were terrible. I'm sorry. I'll do better next year. I still want to offer seeds next year. I'm going to do better. I have about 10 seedlings. And the lava terra look good. Um, this lava terra actually got transplanted already since I've made this video. And it's been transplanted in the Bells of Ireland bed. So hopefully, if one thing grows, who knows what it'll look like. Um, snapdragon seedlings are getting transplanted this week. Also, they're getting put where the anemones used to be uh, because the anemones had to come out. That's really about it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. I know you have a lot of options when it comes to garden channels and stuff, so I really appreciate um, that you take the time to check out my little, little backyard here. 
in Kentucky. I mean, that's crazy that there's people all over the world watching my little backyard. So thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me. I'm so appreciative of you. And I hope that you're having such an incredible day. And uh, I'll talk to you all later, hopefully. Bye, guys.